Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very special edition of the FAM Forum. I am Brenda, your host for the night. Normally, Sharice or Nan would be hosting this show, but they couldn't be here tonight, so they asked me to come in and cover a very special topic. Now, although we certainly don't want to chase away any young lady listeners out there, this show is specifically for you gentlemen. This is all about getting in touch with your family side. And so we've come up with a little list of things for y'all to do. But of course, you know, the first thing you have to remember is that any list that we come up with is just one that we come up with. The first and most important thing you have to remember when you're trying to please your lady is listen to what that woman's saying. You, you just can't go by some list that somebody else, but we just have a few ideas that we're thinking that maybe, maybe might give you some some tips on how to get in touch with your feminine side and make you more pleasing to ladies of a, a persuasion that you might be interested in. Now, the first thing you might do in your journey to being a, a, a lady pleasing gentleman is you might watch some movies that are more female oriented. I mean, forget movies like Doom and Blow That Shit Up, you know? What you should be watching are things like Divine Secrets of the Ya Ya Sisterhood or Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. S movies like that that get in touch with their feminine side. Now, of course, you need to always mind your manners, compliment your woman, open the door for her, buy her gifts, there's, there's no such thing as too many compliments. I, I have never yet met a woman who says, oh, I don't like him because he just compliments me too much. Now, now it's got to be sincere, though. I mean, if, if you see a woman who maybe, you know, maybe shouldn't be wearing them lime green sweatpants on her, her size 84 waist, you wouldn't want to go up and say, Oh, baby, those pants make you look skinny because she's going to know you're just full of it. Uh, what you need to do is go up and say something like, Oh, darling, that flower in your hair is just so pretty. And that, that can be sincere because the flower's pretty, you know. So also you might want to skip watching all them football games and basketball games and baseball games and all those other games where... You want to watch all them other guys. I'm not sure why guys want to watch the guys anyway, but, but you ought to watch something like, you know, Dr. Phil or Oprah or something and get in touch with your, your emotions because that, of course, is one of the more important things. When it comes to dining out, <clears throat> of course, women do love to dine out because for some reason, Whenever the cooking goes on at home, there seems to be this mistaken impression that automatically the woman's got to do it. Now, if you're a cook, or if you know how to cook, and you can cook up a fine dinner at home, well, that's a good thing. I mean, I never have had a problem with a man cooking me a good dinner. But most guys, well, let's just say they've got two left hands that are all thumbs when it comes to the kitchen. So... It's a good idea to take the lady out to a restaurant. And when it comes to choosing a place, look at some place maybe called like the tea room instead of instead of the uh, steak place, something like that. Also, when it comes to personal hygiene, well, first and foremost, gentlemen, is take a bath or take a shower, or just clean yourselves up. I mean, in general, women do not like putting their hands on a man who's dirty and filthy. It, it, just, it just doesn't go. So clean yourself up. Now, some women like cologne, but when you're picking cologne, don't pick those colognes that have names like 
old sweat box or something like that, you know? I mean, you want a cologne that smells nice and fresh and clean, not necessarily feminine smelling, but, but something that's nice. It's a good idea if you're, if you're having a special lady in your life, it's a good idea perhaps for you to ask her, what does she like? And not every woman likes cologne because, you know, some of us ladies have sensitive noses and, you know, that can make us irritated. So please make sure and, and check with your woman before you do something like that. Now, by the way, for any of you gentlemen who have questions, we will be going live to the phones uh, very shortly. So please feel free to die, dial in and, and I'll be happy to talk to you. A few other things. Uh, you might well, try wearing some pink or lavender. I mean, yes, I know it looks lovely on me, but it looks lovely on you too. I mean, we women just love those colors. We women just love those colors. And uh, right now we're going to see if we can help out some gentlemen on the phone. Sir, you're on the air. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? I, I, I'm wonderful. God, you are Beautiful. Why, thank you. As yeah. I said, you can never compliment a woman too much. Ah, uh, you know, I'm just checking you out, and I just... Ah, oh, you're just driving me crazy. Well, I'm, I'm glad that I can help you out, sir, tonight. What kind of bra is that? Oh, I, I don't believe in those things. Don't wear them, because it looks like your headlights are on. Yeah, well, what can I say, you know? I I prefer to be a to shining to example of womanhood. I have to leave and go to the bathroom right now because you are just doing things to me that have never occurred. Well, why, thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be of help, sir. You, oh, thank you. You, you have a good night. I love you. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, thank you, sir. All right, well, that gentleman was perfectly lovely, and we're going to go to the next one in just a second, but a few other little piece of, pieces of advice. For one thing, you might want to help her when she's putting her flower garden together. I mean, most women do have a flower garden, and she'd love to have your help. Now, that doesn't mean coming out there and saying, do this, do that, honey, you should do this, honey, you should do that. That's not the that's not the kind of help we want. We don't want you coming around bossing us around and being some kind of dictator. I mean, we want you, we, we want you to come out and, and just, you know, help. I mean, plant the flowers where we say plant them and fertilize stuff, you know. I mean, you guys are really good at piling on the fertilizer, I know. So, so you're on the air. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Doing good. Um... So exactly, you just get your that it? Oh, you'll have to speak up a bit, sir. Are you just trying, you just doing this to show guys, like, how to treat women? Is that it? I have a couple of questions. Like yes, that. yes. This, this show is about getting in touch with your feminine side and, of course, a little bit about how to please women, because I'm presuming you want to please women. Yeah, no, I definitely want to please women. That's, uh... My duty in life. Well, we, we uh, I am here to help. Yeah, so, um, my girlfriend, do you, do you talk about uh, sexual things or is that not appropriate for the show? Well, it depends upon, you know, how graphic you're going to get. I mean, it is a little bit early in the it, evening. We still have young people up who might not understand those kind of things. But, I mean, you know, uh, we, it, it depends on what your question is. Well, my question is, uh, I just, I can't really find... I can't please my girlfriend enough uh, in the bed. Well, you know, there is that saying about it's not what you have, it's how you use it. And and so so uh, even if you have a bit of a shortcoming in that area, sir, which I'm guessing might be part of the problem, uh, you, you may want to learn some techniques. Now, there are techniques for pleasing women that don't, don't necessarily require that uh, you go out and uh, purchase a large bologna or something like that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's mainly, uh, you know, the, the stimulation of the appropriate areas. And if you don't know what those areas are, I'm sure if you ask that woman, well, does this feel good, honey? Does that feel good, honey? She'll be more than happy to tell you what's working for her and what's not working. I mean, I certainly tell my man just exactly 
what feels good and what does not feel good. And, and, and again, that, that varies for different people. I mean, I'm somewhat of a conservative lady myself, but I can tell you there are some women that are onto some things that, oh, I just have a hard time believing what they, they do. And, and, and they like doing that. But, you know, you have to check with the woman herself. But uh, that, that's, that's the best advice I can give is, is talk to her. You know, have you talked with her about why you're not, you know, why you're coming up short, so to speak? Uh, you know, and, and what maybe you could do about it? I mean, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily, rec you know, there are things that can be done, let's just say manually and, and, and orally that, that, you know, are, are very pleasing to a woman, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I have one more question. Okay. Okay, is that all right? Over sure, here? sure. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I have, I have one last question. Is about, um, you know, I have this serious problem, and there's this rash breaking out, and I don't know if it's, if it's bad for my girlfriend to, to touch it or... Um, well, I, I would say that's something you need to see a doctor about as soon well, as possible. Well, Brenda, I, what I just thought is maybe if you were a woman yourself, you could tell me maybe how they could rub some ointment or how a female, you know. Well, I may be a woman, but I'm not a doctor. I'm not a qualified medical practitioner of any sort. So I would hate to I would hate to say uh, anything that could be. No, I'm just you know. trying to see if you personally, as a woman, if I asked you to rub the cream. Would um would you be offended by that? Or? Well, if I was your woman and 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 if we had a relationship, now I, I wouldn't think this would be something to be asking a woman on the first date or something like that. But 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 you know certainly if 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 you are you know if you are someone that I care about uh, and I am concerned about your health and especially if it's something where it might be contagious and might affect my health too then certainly I am going to help you out as much as possible I'm going to you know do do what it takes so so I would right say now. you know just just ask this young woman oh, you really, gonna... that really are helping me that really does feel good well thank you, you. Well, I'm going to have to stare move on into my life. eyes and stuff like that it's I'm really gonna... You're touching me. Yeah, well, I'm actually uh, touching myself right now. Yeah, I, I kind of suspected that, sir. So uh, I'm going to move on to my next caller. Uh, you, I love it. You have a good night, sir. You sexy bitch. All right, I, I think I'm. I'm I'm afraid I just I just got that gentleman too excited, and I, I didn't want his girlfriend to be coming down here and shooting at me or something because you know, I mean I can understand I, I am a terribly attractive and sexy woman, and 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 I can understand she might be jealous a little bit of of my my qualities. So uh, I'll I'll. I'll, you know, uh, ladies, I just want you to know that your man is safe with me. I, I, am, I am not at all in any way, shape, or form looking for a man. So, so uh, you know, your man is safe with me. I will not go after him at all. Sir, you are on the air. Hi, how you doing? Oh, you need to turn down your TV so it's feeding back a little bit there. Oh, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. That's a hot wig you got on, by the way. Wig? I don't know. I, I don't know about a wig. This is this is my natural hair. I was born with this. That's all fine and dandy, but your teeth, you just got to shut your mouth for me real fast because, I mean, you got the coffee stain grill and it's kind of hurt my eyes. Oh, uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but, uh, you know, Coffee does that, and, and, and what can I say? Uh, uh, of course, that is, that is a piece of advice that I would give to men if they're trying to please a woman is, you know, I mean, I'm not saying you have to have white porcelain teeth or anything like that. You don't need to go get implants, but, but do brush them, and, 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 you know, especially if you're one of them, them coffee drinkers or even worse, a, a smoker. I mean, first off, uh, I would say quit smoking because there's nothing worse than cigarette breath. And, and I know there are some women that smoke out there, but, but uh, well, they're going to die off soon enough anyway. So, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be encouraging them to have that habit. So, so stop smoking, and, and if you drink coffee, brush your teeth. Well, I can think of one thing that's worse than coffee bread and smoker's bread. It's your fucking cock bread. Uh, well, I don't know how you...
know that, sir, but maybe you've uh, had your own and, and, and you've uh, had it reflected in the mirror and, and, and I, I'm sorry that's displeasing to you. Carla, you're on the air. Yeah, hi, is this the Atheist Transvestite Forum? Uh, no, this is the FAM forum. I, I don't know that there is an atheist transvestite forum, but this is the FAM forum, and, and the usual FAMs that host this show, they couldn't be here tonight, and so they asked me if I would kindly step in and fill in for them, and I said, why, well, certainly I'd be happy to. I'd, I'd love to come in and, and help m men get in touch with their feminine side, and, and I've been trying to do that, and, and one of the things I was going to suggest that you might want to do, for example, to get in touch with your feminine side is you might just go shopping. Now, I'm talking women shopping, not men shopping. And, and when I say women shopping, what I mean is you go out and you shop and you go in every single store in the mall and you don't buy anything. You just shop. You just look and you look, but you don't buy nothing. That, that's the appropriate way to go women shopping because men, they just walk in, they walk into the store, they see something that fits them and they buy the first pair of pants that just they get their hands on. And, and they never think to take their woman in there and say, honey, do these look good on me? And, uh, you know, some of you guys really could do that. I mean, some of you guys got more cleavage than I do. The only problem is it's in the backside and it don't look good, especially when you're, you know, you're working under the sink and things like that. It's just like, oh, nasty, nasty, nasty. I mean, there, there's nothing more unattractive than male cleavage. So uh, de hey. definitely, uh, please, please ask your woman to go with you and shop and make sure your pants fit. I do agree, actually. I did notice, though, that I think your right boob is a little bit bigger than your, actually, it's facing a little bit higher than your, your left boob. Well, you know, that's that's but, one of the things that, that, that nature does to us. I mean, uh, un unfortunately, uh, the... the the, the so-called designer that some people, I, I don't know which people, but some people believe in, that so-called designer didn't do a very good job because you will find that just like some guys have one foot that's bigger than the other or some guys, well, let's just say they have a certain part of their body that doesn't exactly go straight. It kind of curves to one side or the other. And, you know, well, some women have a little bit larger here, a little bit larger there. So, you know, we're just not perfect and 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 that's okay that's normal as a matter of fact if you see a woman who's exactly the same on both sides it's probably because of some surgeon that she paid so you know it, it's it's pretty rare in, in 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 reality for a woman to be exactly the same on both sides I can tell you so you know uh, you shouldn't be surprised like that and, and you know I tend to be someone who goes for the natural look in all ways so uh, you know what can I say Carla you're on the air oh yes you're not Carla you're on the air hi Brenda I think you're dead sexy well good but you need to turn your TV down cause you're getting an echo and a feedback in there Yes. You can hear that? Yes, I can. I bet you can, Brenda. Okay. Well, we're going to have to switch. I got a question for you. Okay. We'll see if I have an answer for you. Uh, why are your kids lopsided? Oh, I think I just answered that. You wasn't paying attention. And, of course, oh, that's, that's another thing. That's another thing that I want to advise all you gentlemen out there is when your woman is talking, you need to pay attention because there's nothing that upsets a woman more than to have just said something and then you go and ask some stupid question that makes me real certain that you didn't hear a word I said. Now, it's a good thing I'm not your girlfriend because you'd be sleeping on the couch tonight, buddy. As a matter of fact, you'd be lucky if you got to sleep on the couch. I'd probably put you out in the doghouse and let the dog have the couch. You'd listen when I talk. Yes, you're on the fam forum. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Are you 
I'm, Southern Belle. I'm having a ball here. Well, yes, I am. I am a Southern Belle, not to be confused with a Southern Dingling. That's another thing I want to make perfectly clear: is just because someone is feminine does not mean that they left their brains back in the you know pantry or something. You know, I mean. That's right. I agree. Absolutely. I, I realize that un, uh, unfortunately there are a lot of gentlemen out there who just seem to have a thing where they, they just don't like a woman with brains. And and uh, there are sadly some women who have just bought into that whole thing and they just turn their brains off whenever they get around men. And that's why they want to go out with their girlfriends all the time because they can't find a man who will talk intelligently to them. You know, I mean, I, like I hear guys what? talking all the time about how their girlfriends girlfriends all want to go out and hang out with their girlfriends and they don't understand this girls night out thing well you know what we wouldn't need a girls night out if you guys would talk to us like real people but instead we got to go out and find a woman to talk to so we can have some intelligent conversation that doesn't revolve around sports scores uh -huh. and and you know things like that how fast your car is and and how fast your computer is I mean, we don't care how fast your computer is. If 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 we get what we need done with a computer, that's fast enough. Yeah. So, um, so what type of man are you looking for? Well, I'm not. Oh. I'm 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 sorry to disappoint you, but I'm I'm perfectly happy in the relationship that I have. Oh, you already have a relationship? Yes, and 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 he's he's. He's a rather shy person, so he he did not want me to discuss him on the air tonight. Nope. I thank you for respecting true. his privacy. The best ones are always taken, and you're no exception to that. Well, yes, I know that's true, but but you know the funny thing is that at some point in their life, those ones that were taken had to be not taken, yep. and and the, the the key is to find them before they find somebody else. All right, Brent, I'll talk to you later. All right, thank Great you. Note. Bye. Bye. Carly, you're on the air. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm doing fine. You need to turn down your volume a little bit. I mean on your mouth, not on your phone. Hey, hey buddy, I'm sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, I, I, I just want to know one thing. Okay. You're a fag, uh, no. Don't lie, motherfucker. You suck. No, I'm perfectly heterosexual. You're a damn lie. Hey, quit talking. I, 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 happen, to I happen to be secure. I happen to be secure enough in my sexual orientation that I am not threatened by those of you who are uh, phobic about such things. I'm perfectly secure as I am. I am not threatened by someone who makes uh, assumptions about my sexual orientation so it doesn't bother me in the least Carly you're on the air yeah hi um do you have a penis uh sir I think that's something a little private for me to be discussing well, with you. I like, you know, do you oh no I got my checked. okay well uh what can I say then I guess uh, I wouldn't be interested in you. Oh, I guess we've run out of callers for the moment. I guess, well, I'm sure that that one guy went to go find something, so. Carly, you're on the air. Is it Brenda? Yes, it is. Brenda, this is Leroy James. Hi, Leroy. Hi, now, you Leroy, doing? you need to turn down your TV. We're getting some echo back there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. See ya. Turn out a goddamn TV. Now, sir, that's no that's no way to talk to a woman. Shut up, bitch. That that definitely is no way to talk to a woman, but I guess I guess that explains why the gentleman who just called is sitting home alone on a Friday night and has nothing better to do than call up TV shows because that's the way he talks to women and of course I can understand why women don't want to be around him. Uh, another thing I want to make very clear to you men out there, you need to understand that the words sale and save are synonymous. That's right. When something is on sale and you buy it, you are saving money. You need to understand that, that, that uh, mathematical equation there. And, and so when your woman comes to you and says, darling, we could save us $100 if we go down and buy this, you need to understand 
that's what it means. And, and, and don't be questioning things like that. You know, just, just get it. You're on the air, caller. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Me too. I'm also a transgender. Okay. So, do you like being a transgender? Uh, I don't know what it, what exactly you're discussing. I, I am, I'm not trans anything. That's a lot of goddamn why you know it. I am what I am. So do I. I have a D-I-C-K. You do? Yeah, baby. Uh, is, it, is, is his last name R Nixon? Hell no. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. Tricky Dick Nixon, he died a while ago, but, but, you know, who knows what you've got. You're a pretty hot girl. You want to make out if I back in my place? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, already spoken for, sir. No, you're not. But, God damn but, it. but thank you. Thank no, you for the compliment. No, no, you're coming back to my house now. Uh, no, I, I don't you think are. so. Yes, you are. <laughs> Obviously, you must be a Republican, no. sir, because you think no, that listen. whenever you tell people to do yes. something, they got to do it. I, I don't. You're on the Okay. Obviously, that person had me confused with somebody else. Caller, you're on the air. Has anyone ever told you you resemble Roseanne? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I believe I'm a little bit slimmer than her. But, but yes, I have been told I resemble Roseanne just a little bit. Do you do me a favor? Can you stand up, grab your cross, and start singing the national anthem for me? Uh, no, I can't do that. Sorry. There's just a limit to what I will do for uh, ratings, unlike Roseanne. Caller, you're on the air. Well, maybe you're not there. Caller, you're on the air. Uh, hi. Um, I was just wondering, um, excuse me. Yes, you need to turn down your TV. I'm sorry. Turn down the TV, honey. I was wondering, when did you decide to change? Uh, change what? My my undergarments? Um, yeah. Uh, I do that daily, at least. Really? I prefer clean underwear at all times, I, so I change regularly. Really? Yes. Um, you're you're really cute. Why? Thank you. Yeah, I, I appreciate you, um, having enough courage to come on the air and do this. Why? Thank you. I, I just wanted to compliment you on that. Well, good. I'm always glad. I'm always glad that I'm out there helping people somehow. All right, thanks. I just wanted to call in and say that. Well, thank you. All right. All Have right. a good evening. Bye. Caller, you're on the air. Um, what kind of why you example are you setting for kids watching this? What kind of example am I setting for kids watching this? Well, I'm hoping that, uh, number one, those that are males out there will be more secure in themselves and, and not be concerned with what other people think about what they do. And secondly, I'm hoping that maybe they'll get some good advice and have better relationships in the future. So I think that's a perfectly good example. Bye. Well, I certainly hope the children out there do understand that there's, there's nothing wrong with just being who you are, whoever that happens to be. And I think you should be proud of who you are, and I think you should be secure in who you are, and I don't think you should let anybody put you down for who you are. And if you want to be somebody else at any time, you just go ahead and be that other person and have fun when you're doing it. Caller, you're on the air. Caller, are you there? Okay. Caller, you're on the air. Okay. Caller, you on the air. Hello? Yes. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Yeah, I want to know if you put your dick between your legs when you dress like a woman, you fat. I would not. Uh, yes, you do. What are you I having don't know your what shirt? you're talking about. What are you having your shirt? Uh, me? No, not you. Me? It looks that's like what, an ass. Bro. That's what's in my shirt. Yeah? Well, sir, if I look, if I look like... I would look a, 
If I look, if I look like an ass, I can understand why you're having sexual problems because you're looking at the front, son. So if you're looking at the front and it looks, this is what you think an ass looks like, then it's no wonder you can't figure things out. You're going the wrong direction. See, that's the back side that looks like an ass. The front side looks like this. So if you're looking at this side and you're thinking you're looking at the back side, oh, sir, you really need some help there. You need sex education classes badly. Carla, you're on the air. Hello? I guess they're not there. Carla, you're on the air. Hi, how's it going? Oh, it's going just fine. How about yourself? Uh, good, thanks. Are you having a good time tonight? Very good. I appreciate what you're doing. Oh, no problem. Uh, I was just wondering, are you going to go over how to get one? Am I going to go over how to get one what? Uh, get women. Oh, like, get uh, women. Well, I think that's pretty much what I have been talking about. I mean, generally, if you, if you express yourself and if you carry yourself in a more secure way, if you're not afraid to show a little bit of your feminine side, the women will indeed be pleased by that. Now, of course, there are many, many, many different ways to meet women, but the important thing is not so much just meeting the women as the impression that you make on the women that you do meet. I mean, you could be someone who meets a hundred women a day, and if you act like an absolute and utter arsehole, then those women aren't going to be interested in you. On the other hand, if you're someone who is secure in your masculinity and you're not afraid to let your feminine side show and you treat that woman with respect and like an equal, then you only need to meet maybe one or two women to find the right one because they're going to be positively impressed with you. So that's the important thing. Right? Yes. Okay. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Carla, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm doing fine, ma'am, that is. Yes. I wouldn't, no, I'm not a woman, I'm a man. Well, no, you said, how you doing, sir, so uh, I thought you were talking to I just wanted to let you know that when my girlfriend goes to work, mm -hmm. I, I put her panties on and act like a woman. Is well. something wrong with that? <clears throat> Not as long as you don't stretch them out and destroy them. I mean, uh, I'm presuming you've discussed this with her. No, she doesn't know. Oh well. She's at uh, work right now. I, I, I'm, I hope that I hope this poor, poor woman is, is, you know, at least of a size where not, you're not stretching them all out, and she comes home and finds all her panties are all of a sudden sagging and falling off, and 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 she's like, why are my panties falling off? And she can't understand it. And then she has to go out and buy new panties all the time. And, and you're ruining them. I mean, you know, have the decency and the courtesy, if, if you enjoy wearing women's panties, to buy your own that fit properly. No, I, mean, I, I do. I buy her more. If oh, well. Me, why are you well, always buying me fine. new panties? I don't why are you always buying me new panties? I well, tell her. Well, I... I, I like I said, there's nothing wrong with being who you are, and and you know if you prefer, I I, I certainly can understand. Uh, I mean, I have to tell you that w that women's panties are made of much finer material than men's stuff. Why is it's that? Much much softer and and well, well, you know, people assume that's feminine, but I really think that I I really think I oh, think. Oh, oh. Yeah, we we we, we got to have that. Uh, I really think that if someone were to come up with a line of men's panties that that you know are men's underwear that felt as as smooth and silky and fine as women's underwear, that they'd have a a real seller. I mean, I think I think the undergarment industry is missing out here. I mean, what if I fall asleep tonight and I have her panties on and she gets home? Well, uh, what am I, gonna I don't say think that Brenda told me to put them on. Well, I don't think you should be hiding this tr from her to begin with. I mean, women like honesty. In but she'll leave me. How do you know that? I don't know that. But she I might actually enjoy it. Uh, I mean, I have to tell you that you know, uh, a man who is secure enough in himself to be a heterosexual but yet still wear women's clothes. Uh, that that's a real turn on for many women. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I I know many women in the past, and and many of my girlfriends have told me that their man put on one, some of their clothes, and and that just did you know did something for them. And and I have to tell you too that many women wear their man's clothes. I mean, 
Yeah, but have they you, don't wear underwear. We're wearing panties. Oh, there's some women out there that wear men's men's Lady underwear Whitey. too. Well, boxes. A lot of lot of women like to wear men's boxer shorts. It's very comfortable. Are you wearing panties right now, Brenda? Well, I think that's a little too personal for me to discuss with you on the air. We're not that well acquainted. My name is Sylvia. That's my girl's name. That's my girl name when I dress like a woman. Okay, well, that's good for you, sir. I hope you enjoy your life. You got a big nose, faggot. Sad, sad, sad. What can I say? You know, there, there are just some men out there who just are so insecure about their masculinity that they, they, they have to assume that everyone who does not do everything exactly the way they do, that they, they, they just assume that that person is, is uh, homosexual or something like that. It's not true, of course, but what can I say? Call you on the air. Brenda. Brenda, yes. Brenda or Brent? I'm Brenda. Well, what are you when you leave? Are you Brent? You're well, Brent and Brenda I'm the same the... person I always am. You look so sexy in that outfit. Why, thank you. Oh, my God, I just want to tear you apart. Well, I don't I know, if, tear you I don't, I don't know oh if that's God, a good Brent. thing, tearing oh, me apart. I, I tear you apart, girl. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I want to remain in one piece, thank you very much. I mean, uh, you know, I, I've heard of wild sex before, but that's a little too oh, wild for me. me. Thank you. Callie, you're on the air, and, and as long as you're not going to tear me apart, I don't want to be torn apart. No, I mean, I was just wondering, I was wondering, that sounds wondering. painful. How old are you, Brenda? How old am I? Well, you never ask a woman's age, and I'm, I'm sure that's something that I should have had in my list of advice here is you never, ever ask a woman's age. I mean, if she wants to tell you, she will tell you, but you never, ever, ever ask. I was guessing 20 or so. That's what I was, that's what I was thinking. Well, uh, I thank you, sir, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll let that remain a mystery for all eternity. I had a question. What, what is menopause? What is menopause? Well, now that actually is a serious question. It's, it's also known as change of life. It's, it's when a woman um, essentially stops being able to have children and stops having those uh, monthly visitations. And, uh, For period, you mean? Yes, period. And it varies from woman to woman. Now, with some women, it unfortunately is accompanied by a lack of, of, of sexual interest, and that's sad. And with some women, that does go away and return. With some, it never returns, and that's unfortunate. But uh, again, I'll have to go back to what I was saying earlier about poor design. You know, uh, I mean, those people who believe that there was a designer up there, well, you can see he didn't do a very good job because, of course, the most fun time in a woman's life should be after she doesn't have to worry about getting pregnant anymore. I mean, just imagine the rest of your life not having to worry when you're having those sexual experiences about unplanned little pregnancies coming up. That. That should be the most wonderful time, but unfortunately for some women, it's not. And, and that's a sad thing about, about, well, about this world that we're in. You haven't experienced menopause yourself, though, have you? No, I have not. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Carly, you on the air. Hey, Brenda. How you doing? Okay. Uh, what kind of water are you drinking? Uh, well, it's just pretty much a generic water. I, I don't mention brand names on the show because they have these prohibitions about... That's Nestle. It could be. That's some very good water. It, 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 now uh, pour it all over your sir and let me see those nipples, man. I'm afraid this is not that kind of show. I'm, I'm sure you can find that kind of show if you uh, tune into one of those cable channels. That, name, uh, I see you on oh. Saturday nights, too. Uh, when the dog paid a mask. I don't know. I don't know where you might be seeing me on Saturday break. nights. Anyway, you have a good Thank evening, you. sir. Caller, you're on the air. Hello? Yes? Can I just say, bees up, seas down, NYC till I die, east side? Uh, I guess you can say that. I certainly couldn't. Caller, you're on the air. Anybody? You thought you was going to get a message? Okay. 
Carla, you on the air? Carla, are you there? I guess the lights are on and no one's home. Carla, you're on the air. Hi, Brenda. How you doing? How are you? I just uh, wanted to thank you for what you're doing for us women out there. No problem. I do my best. Hopefully some decent guys are listening to your advice. I hope so. I'm, I'm doing my best to try and get the message out. I mean, my friends, Nan and Sharice, they asked me to do this show and, uh, you know, talk to some of those gentlemen out there about getting in touch with their feminine side. And, and I said I would be glad to help. Oh, sure. Well, I hope some guys listen to you. I wish my boyfriend would. Well, you know, if he doesn't listen enough, maybe you might think about trading him in for a better model. I might. I may take your advice. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a good night. You too. Bye -bye. Thank you. Caller, you're on the air. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Yes. I, I want to know, how do you feel dressed like that? How do I what? How do you feel dressed like that? Uh, well, it, it fits fairly well, so it, it's reasonably comfortable. I mean, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's not as much fun as run, running around all natural, of course, but, but it, it's, it's reasonably fun. Okay, um, look, my brother wants to ask you a question. Okay. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Okay, I got a question. Okay, I got a woman, I mean, a girlfriend, a fiancé. Okay, you need to turn down your TV, sir. We're getting some feedback on the line. Okay, and, um, well, she treat me like, like I'm a woman and she's the man, you know? Well, exactly what do you mean? Like, she want me, like, to do things, like, like, feminine, like she's in charge and, you know, want me to do things. And... Well, a partner, it should be a partnership. Now, see, that's where I get confused when you say, like, she's the man and I'm the woman. I think it should be an equal partnership, and the problem is that many men tend to assume that, well, they should automatically be in charge just because they're the man. And I have to tell you, I have met some really, really, really stupid men in my life, and they shouldn't be in charge of nothing. I mean, they, they, sh they should have to ask they should have to ask someone else for permission to go to the bathroom because they're so stupid they would do it in their pants if somebody didn't tell them how to do it. And, and these are grown men I'm talking about. So, you know, just because, just because you are a man does not automatically mean that the woman should be taking your orders. Now, the reverse applies as well because I have met, unfortunately, some stupid women that give sisterhood a bad name. So, I, I'm not prejudiced in automatically. I mean, uh, I, was, I was, as a matter of fact, hearing someone talk earlier today talking about the fact that individuals can be very smart, but overall people tend to be stupid. And uh, I would have to agree with her. She's probably right that, that the majority of the population uh, does not put their thinking caps on when they get up in the morning. And, uh, and I, I think that uh, whoever is the more intelligent person out of the two in the relationship might be given a little more responsibility for decision making, but that doesn't give them the right to order the other person around and tell them what to do. Now, you know, it all depends upon what we're talking about here. If we're talking about something that's very important, uh, for example, if she tells you you've got to quit your job and go to work for somebody else because she doesn't like your boss and your job is the one that's paying the majority of the bills and the job she thinks you ought to take wouldn't do that, well then I'd say she doesn't deserve to be listened to because she's, she's saying something stupid. But on the other hand, if she's telling you that uh, that sweatshirt that you've been wearing for the last seven years that looks like a rag that somebody ought to be thrown away uh, makes you look like uh, a dumpy jerk uh, and, and she tells you to go throw it away, well, maybe you ought to be listening. You know, so uh, it, it, it's it's not a, a cut and dried situation. But in general, you you should pay attention to what she says, and then perhaps evaluate it and see if you know what she has, says has validity. You know, it's not the same as taking orders. Nobody should be taking orders from anyone. Thank, thank you for everything. No problem. Good luck to you. You have a good night. All right, you too. Thank you. Bye. Call you on the air. Caller, are you there? 
I guess uh, caller, our caller has been lost in space. But, uh, well, I'm, I'm really hoping that I'm, I'm providing all you gentlemen out there with some good advice that will help you get in touch with your feminine side and perhaps have more luck with the ladies because that is what we're about here. We're trying to, trying to help you gentlemen uh, have better luck with the women out there. And my friends, Nan and Cherise, the normal hosts of this show, asked me if I would come in and do a special show just to help you men Get along better with the women in your life. Caller, you are on the air. Yes, hi. Um, what would you like to uh, accomplish by dressing like that today? Well, I would hope that uh, people would see me and say, well, now there's an attractive woman. And, uh, I mean, that's generally what women do is they try and dress as attractively as possible. But and and some men could take that cue, I have to tell you. I mean, I... One one of my one of my lady friends, uh, she is constantly complaining that her husband he is a good looking man. I mean he is tall, he is handsome, he is a good looking man, and she loves him dearly. But she says sometimes she feels like she needs to dress him in the morning because all he does is wear shabby clothes and 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 he wears mismatched clothes and 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 and, and she just she just can't seem to get across to him that that's the kind of impression that he makes out in his working world and and that affects her as well as it affects him because you know, I have a question though don't, don't you think that somebody's going to get an impression or any type of impression on somebody for dressing like a woman well I suppose they might but it, it all depends upon how important you think that impression is and uh, well, what I mean, you're trying to do to yourself that the impression is important correct well yes Yes, and, and I think that uh, I think impressions are important. But on the other hand, I think you also have to look at uh, dressing appropriately for a situation. See, that's another thing that yeah, yeah. many men don't seem to understand. Like, I mean, we are, we are on the Femme Forum here. We are on the Femme Forum, so I am dressed appropriately for the Femme Forum. Now, some men, for example, I mean, I've seen gentlemen show up in tuxedos, uh, for for a, a, something a beach event, for example, where where it would be more appropriate to wear a Hawaiian shirt, and I've seen men show up in shorts and a t-shirt when it'd be appropriate to wear a suit. But uh, you don't you don't dress up like that on on a daily basis, do you? Well, no, I'm dressed for a TV show, so I I don't dress up like this on a daily basis. I I normally like wear more words. casual outfits on a daily basis because I'm not on TV every day. Wig? I, I don't understand what you're talking about. This is this is my hair, sir. This is this is just the way I am. You know? Are you serious? And I'm I'm sorry that you know my hair looks so good that those of you out there, there are many of you out there who think it's a wig, but you know this is my real hair and this is my my real body. <laughs> And, and I'm sorry that some people just can't accept that a woman looks as good. But, you know, that's just the way that it is, you know. And I think, sir, that you, one of the things that I have to tell you is that you should never, ever, ever go up to a woman and say, Ma'am, that's a really nice looking wig. Because you're likely to get yourself slapped, especially when it's not a wig. And it's even, it's even more... It's even more insulting to walk up to a woman and say, Excuse me, ma'am, are those real? Okay, quick question then. What kind of shampoo is it used to make it shine like that? Well, I actually use a variety of different shampoos, sir, but, uh, but a good quality shampoo is always a good choice. As a matter of fact, that's another thing. If you're buying a gift for your woman and it includes any kind of toiletries or, or, or shampoos or anything like that, don't go to Walmart and be, buy that cheap stuff for her. She's going to look at that and say, okay, you just blew $20 on something that, isn't, that I'm going to have to dump down the toilet and pretend that I used. You know, go out and buy the good stuff. And if you don't know what the good stuff is, ask her. As a matter of fact, back to what I said at the beginning of the show. So 
But do you feel it's like always a good idea to ask your woman what she wants. Do you, do you feel like you have some type of insight as to, uh, you know, what women feel and what women think? Well, I, I did. I did not just give my opinions out here on the show tonight. I did ask for advice from other women so that so that I would know what to say. Because no, I, I don't think that anyone has any special insight, and and this applies to men too. Just because you're a man doesn't mean you know what every man wants or thinks, does it? Right, and just like I'm sure some women disagree with things that you say or do on on the show. That's right, and that's and that's one of the things that I said at the beginning of the show. But I will say it again, just to make sure everybody hears it. Is, you know, men, when I give you advice out here, it does not necessarily mean that. This applies to every woman. Make sure, make sure that if you're going to try out a new cologne or a new haircut or something like that, that you talk with your woman first because she may not like that and she may just say, wait a minute, don't you do that. Now, if you have a good reason for doing it, for example, I know a guy and he was taking a trip on his motorcycle and he went and he buzzed off all his hair. Now, he did that for a specific reason. He did that because on the long trip he was on, it was going to be easier for him to take care of, and it was going to be cooler and more comfortable because he was taking this trip in the summertime. And so that was a good reason. And since he was not going to be with his woman on this trip, why did it matter? But on the other hand, once he came back from the trip, he let it grow out so it looked more normal again because that's what she liked. So, you know, you have to take into account various different situations, but the most important thing is always talk to your woman and find out what she wants. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a general, that's a good idea. Exactly. All right. So, well, thank you for calling, Sue. We're going to move on to our next caller. Uh, oh, yeah, um, one last thing. Fuck okay. you. Uh, no, thank you, sir. You're not my type. Caller, you're on the air. Hi, Brenda. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing just excellent. I'm having me a good time. That's wonderful, Brenda. I just wanted to call and let you know I just um, tuned into your show, and you were speaking of the inappropriate dress. Yes. Lift your left breast up, please. It's kind of sagging. Oh, well, you know, that, that's, that's the way things go sometimes, you know. Uh, I, I have to admit that, you know, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, there, there we go. Okay, there we go. There you go. Uh, there we go. Very, you look better. very good. And I thank you for giving the insight to the men that really don't know what it is that a woman wants. Well, thank you. I, I am trying. I, I did put some research into this so that I wasn't just, uh, I mean, as I said to the gentleman who was on before, I don't try to try to talk for all women. I don't claim to speak for all women. I did speak with several women, including including the, you know, one of the co-hosts of this show before I put it on about, you know, how to get in touch with your feminine side. But every woman is different. Yes. And, uh, I, I have told several of the men that they need to talk to their woman and find out what their woman wants. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Carly, you're on the air. Hey there. I just wanted to let you know that yeah. you kind of put your boobs a little too tall to your neck. Well, you know... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get that Victoria's Secret thing going, you know. They have those, those, you know, uh, wonder bras, they call them. And, and uh, I figured, well, I'd, I'd do my best to do a more natural wonder bra. So, you know, i do the best I can, you understand. Well, see, if you wanted to be like Victoria's Secret, you'd just be wearing the bra. Well, yes, but, you know, I, I do realize there are children that watch this show from time to time, and I, I didn't want to destroy their, their uh, you know, expectations. I mean, you know, when they get older and they're a man and, and, and they become men and they start looking at women, I don't want them to think that every woman is going to, you know, look as, as good as I do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Caller, you're on the air. Caller, are you there? I hear noise, but I don't hear a person. Caller, you're on the air. Yes. Caller, are you there? 
Kali, you're on the air. You're one ugly bitch. Well, sir, now that, I have to say, is something you should never say to a woman. I mean, unless, of course, it's your own mother, which in, in your case, sir, I'm sure that probably applies. But uh, actually, even to your own mother, you should not insult a woman. I mean, if you can't say something pleasant, don't say anything at all. All right, we only got a couple minutes left in the show, but we're going to try and squeeze in a couple more callers. I know some of you callers would just love to be squeezed in. Caller, you all on the air. Hello? Yes, caller, are Hello? you there? Um, I, I was wondering, how do you uh, keep your skin so nice and toned? What kind of lotion do you use? Oh, I use a variety of dis different lotions. Uh, just again, back to what I was saying before, don't go with the cheap stuff. The cheap stuff will always mess you up. Go with the good stuff and you'll always look good. Really? And your woman will too. Uh, that would be a good uh, present or something that I'd want to buy or something? Well, again, you know, if you're buying a present and it's supposed to be a surprise, of course, you can't come directly out and say, uh, hello, Mary, would you like this for, for your birthday? Uh, so, you know, but you can kind of, you know, drop some hints or, or perhaps when you're shopping, you know, going shopping with her, if you pay attention instead of running off to the, the electronics department or the lawn and garden section, you know, if when you're shopping with her, you actually stay with her in the store and find out what kind of lotion she'd like to have that she maybe thinks is a little too expensive, oh, it's a, that's a good idea. gift. Yeah, to give me an idea of uh, what she would uh, like. Well, that's for her because every woman likes something different. I, yeah. I guess you weren't paying attention earlier. Yeah, you have to listen to your woman and what she wants. Caller, you're on the air. Caller, are you there? Let's see if we can get... Caller, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. We only got a few seconds left, Hello? so make this quick. Okay. I just wanted to let you know one message for all women. If you give them a good dick, and they ain't going to leave you anyway. Well, uh, I guess that's probably true, but uh, what defines that is different for every woman. Uh, we're going to have to say goodbye for the night. I'd like to thank all of you callers who helped out and uh, made this a fun show. And uh, we, 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 hope that, we hope that we manage to help out help out some of you men out there who have been having women troubles. We hope that you've been able to uh, uh, be elucidated by the things that we have uh, given you tonight. Thank you, and Sharice Hernan will be back next week. Have a good week, y'all.